the second part of this uh, video tutorial I will show you how to create virtual machines hosts and services required to access uh, the website and SSH port so as you remember we have a Sophos uh, and we connected um, our computers to port 4 which has a local subnet of 192.168.110 and each virtual machine has uh, ending starting from 51, 52, 53, 54 so we have to create these four virtual machines and then um, we're gonna assign ports to these virtual machines so we're gonna go to section called host and services IP host we can create add and we're gonna name this uh, VM 51 we're gonna assign the IP to this object so we're gonna call this 192.168.110.51 because that's the IP of the server okay so we're gonna be routing the traffic to the from outside to this uh, virtual machine to that specific IP if we want to reach virtual machine 51 we're gonna save that I'm gonna hit add we're gonna add this VM underscore 52 and 192.168.110.52 you can hit save Okay, as you can see, we're adding them up. We got two more to go. VM 53. 192.168.110.53. Save. And one more, last one. Okay, I created four objects, but I like to create group. So in uh, in rows, whatever it's necessary, I don't have to uh, include individual IP. Uh, so I'm gonna go to IP host group. I'm gonna create add. I'm gonna call this VM servers, and we're gonna add these uh, devices here. VM one two three four. I'm gonna hit add, and we're gonna save that VM servers. Okay. Now right, the next thing we have to go and create um, services. Well, if it's a service that we don't have, um, we're gonna have to add that manually. However, the services we're using are already here. So if you look for HTTP, it's here. SSH will be on the next page. It's right here. So let's say we want to add port 65,000 as an example. 65,000 we're gonna call this custom 65,000 now we can decide if we want a TCP or UDP or if we want to do both you would have to choose like this and um, we're gonna do 65,000 port um, we don't need UDP in our case uh, we're gonna leave TCP. I'm gonna hit save. Now it should be uh, at the very beginning. First row. So the custom rows. Yeah, 
so it's 65,000. I, I also like to make it group. So I'm going to call these. You don't have to create the group because um, ports might be different for uh, a different virtual machine. So let's say you want to open one port, you want to open 10 ports. So, you know, you can just add them manually in rows. However, I'm going to be using the same ports for all these virtual machines. So I'm going to create a group. VM ports. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to add HTTP. You can type in for quicker search. Uh, then we're going to need a SSH. And we can add this uh, custom if we want, but I'm not choosing that. So uh, I have two ports uh, right now, and we're just gonna hit save. So anything coming from outside, um, and it's gonna come in to virtual machine. We're gonna do uh, put uh, 80 on the destination, SSH on destination. All right, we're gonna hit save. So we got VM groups and we got IP hosts in the group. All right, so in this part of a video, we created virtual machine hosts and we created ports, port group of 80 and 22 to assign for these virtual machines. All right, we're gonna come back in video three to set up static IPs. And in the final video, we'll do the port forwarding roles. Thank you for watching.